Determine the slope intercept form of the line that passes through this point and is parallel to the line segment that joins the, these other two points. So let's figure out uh, the slope here that's uh, formed by these two points, points A, B. We know that slope is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have x2 here, we have y2 here, and we have x1, y1 over here. So the slope here is 1 minus y1, which is negative 5, over x2, which is negative 3, minus negative 1. So two negatives make a positive. 1 plus 5 is 6. And negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So the slope is negative 3. Now we want the slope that is parallel to this line here. Parallel means we have the same slope. So our, our final line will have the same slope, which is negative 3. Now to actually come up with a line equation, we need a slope and a point, which we have over here. So y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. This is the slope point form, which is very useful. This being our x1, y1. And we can plug in the values y minus y1, which is 3, equals m, which is negative 3, x minus x1, x1 being negative 4. So to come up with a slope intercept form, we need to isolate our y. We have y equals, add 3 to both sides. I'm going to rewrite this two negative signs as a positive. So negative, negative makes a positive. So I'm going to use distribution now. Negative 3x, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. So the ultimate answer is the actual slope intercept form of the line is y equals negative 3x minus 9, which is choice A.